Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to share with you a way how you can easily get data from OneDrive. Because when you try to get data from OneDrive into Power BI because you want to create your reports and you take a closer look under get data here, you'll see that there is no option, at least no direct option to connect to OneDrive. So meaning there is no specific connector regarding OneDrive. So when I first tried it and get here, I can go to get data and then if I search for one as an example one you'll see that I do not find OneDrive here other providers but not OneDrive but then of course I thought well OneDrive is a web source right so from the internet and we have the option here to search for web right because web data can be queried for instance could be tables from any kind of HTML page but in this case web also means OneDrive so how does this work well, if I go to my personal OneDrive here, I have here uploaded one file, which is this animes file. Simply a list of animes is just an example here. And I want to read Excel, uh, actually this Excel file into Power BI. How do I do this? Well, what you can do is if you right click on the file itself, there's an option to embed. So here this is in German, but uh, you certainly uh, just understand that this means embedding okay, into web pages. And if you click on embed here, you'll see that then OneDrive is creating an embed code for you. Basically an iframe, which shows you then exactly the data itself. And this can be added to any kind of website. And we will copy this iframe here. So control C to copy it. And then we go to uh, editor. In this case, I'm using my notepad here and I paste the code inside. Make it smaller here. So that's the whole iframe. And what we need is actually the URL of the iframe. So at first, let's actually get rid of the iframe tag in front and the source and also get rid of everything behind the URL. So this is what we don't need. This is just information regarding the width and the height and so on if you want to embed this into a web page, but we don't need this. Instead, we only need the URL. That's the first thing. And then we need to modify it a little bit because currently you see that it's specified here embed but we don't want to embed this source. We want to download it to have it in Power BI. This is why we replace the embed here with download. So that's the first thing here. So instead of embed, put in a download here. The second thing is that we add additional query parameters here, meaning we need to tell OneDrive that we want to open this as an Excel file. And this can be done simply adding uh, the ampersand sign at the end and then put in here an app is equal to Excel. So that's the second modification of the URL. So meaning at first we want to download it instead of embedding it. And second, we want to use Excel as the app to open it. And as soon as we have done this, we can copy the link from the file and we can go to Power BI and then choose web as the data source, click on connect. And then we just wait and there it is. And then let's paste this inside the URL. And then if you click OK, normally then you get an additional question. How do you want to connect? And then you can press uh, anonymously. I already have done this. So this is why the message does not pop up here for me. But then you can see that now I got my table in here, or in this case, the sheet in here, as well as my table itself. So this is just a table. It's not named correctly, uh, but this is the whole sheet here. And then of course I can choose a table. I always choose tables because this makes sure that I only import the data I want if the table is available. So I choose this one and then I can either go to transform data to open it in Power Query Editor or click on load directly. And just to show you that the data is actually really there, I just load it inside. So now it gets imported. So downloaded from, in this case, OneDrive into my Power BI report here. And as soon as it's available here, there's the table. I can use this in order to create any kind of visualization. So if, for instance, here, take a look at the streaming provider. Uh, this is this one here. And uh, then I can actually, you can see the various streaming providers uh, here, drag that here, which is Amazon. So Amazon Prime, actually, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, and Next Netflix. And then if I also add the amount of reviews here, I can see here the reviews. And if I switch this to any other kind of chart, let's say a bar chart, tick on the bar chart here, I can see here then all the vendors or the streaming providers and also the amount of reviews they have received so far. 
So this is not a rating, <laughs> this is just some demo data here, uh, but the main goal was to show you how you can connect to OneDrive and extract data from there and then visualize this in Power BI. Because as you've seen, if you know how that works, uh, then it's quite easy to do. But if you don't know how and you're searching for any kind of connector here or you try to use the web and try to use the URL from the file itself, then you probably run into issues and you won't get the data. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, thanks a lot for watching. If you have not done so far, then please consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like that and other videos. And also, please like the video. Thanks a lot. Take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.